It works too. Oh shit, another one. I'm telling you, I did not expect this one little bit. I freaking, I do. I love this plane, guys. It is surprising because, uh, I mean, day one experiences in, and when a patch goes live, it's just, it's not a lot of fun because everybody's learning a plane. And unfortunately, team falls apart, and uh, you know, everybody's still learning. So, it's rough. It's very, very rough. And my day one experience with this plane hasn't been the greatest, but. But stuff like that, those reversals, those clean shots, those made it worth it 100%. And I still want to, I'd rather be flying right now than making this video for you. I got to be honest, I really do. But I have to share with you, it's a lot of fun. This is the Chinese J7-2. J7 with two Roman numerals. Anyways, if you haven't figured it out yet, it is a copy of the MiG-21. The Chinese are so very good at copying things, and this is what we get. It supposedly has a better engine. I haven't compared it side to side because I don't actually have the MiG-21 yet, but from the MiGs I've seen in game, it doesn't seem like it's that much faster or that much better. I'm not exactly sure if they changed the flight model a little bit, but honestly, I'm really not complaining because this plane is fun because you get guys like this. This guy had no idea this was coming. Look at how much speed we can bleed real quick and get down and get inside his turn and just brrr, gone. I love it. And, and, you know, remember how the Super Mysterio, when you bled all that speed in that turn, you never got it back. Well, in this plane, you can actually get it back. The acceleration's not that bad. I think it, I think they got a little bit of a buff from when we saw it in the dev server, and I, I like it. Because I could get right back up to a comfortable speed, and I'm good to go. Now, it's not the best acceleration. The MiG-19, now here's the thing. If you guys haven't heard already, the MiG-19 got buffed, and I haven't flown it yet. I, I honestly haven't. I've been having too much fun with this plane. But the MiG-19 is an absolute beast right now, and that is scary. Scary to fight in this plane, because while I might be able to outturn him for the first turn, after that, I'm done. I can't out-accelerate him. I can't outturn him once I get slow. But, I mean, it's, it's going to rely on getting your aim. Now, I don't know if the MiG-19 is going to stay like this, because it's, it's godly right now. But this plane is a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it. Now, I haven't gotten any amazing matches, and hopefully once the, the matchmaker calms down a little bit, you know, it might be a little different story, but if you guys haven't noticed right now, the F4 Phantom, like, I took it for one flight, that thing is broken right now. It, right when you get around Mach, like 0 .97, 0 .98 Mach, it starts tweaking out a little bit, and it gets fuel starvation. And fuel starvation is constant, like, you cannot tap down elevator at all, you can't roll to the left of the mouse, it'll, it'll cause fuel starvation, and that's really bad when you're a supersonic that has a lot of power, because that's, your power's gone. So this plane, I'm glad I'm flying this thing first because this plane's a lot of fun. You know, it's it's pulling a lot of high alphas. And as long as you can hit your shots, because you are very, very limited on ammo. And I won't deny that even myself, I have good trigger patience, but I've run out of ammo. But there's the thing, it's like, it's, if you look at this, like, I'm, I'm bleeding a little bit of speed. I'm pulling really high alpha turns, but I'm not bleeding as much as I used to, at least in the dev server. This is good. I, I really like it. And if I was to guess, the, the MiG-21 should fly almost identical to this thing. There's no reason it shouldn't. So if you're going for the MiG-21, get it. It should be fun. If you're going to grind all the way through the Chinese tree, or if you bought maybe the uh, the, the F-5, which is the MiG-17F. Basically, it's a MiG-17 with afterburners. If you're going to grind all the way through the tree, this plane's worth it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. But do be careful of the MiG-19s. The MiG-19s are very, very scary. And they do maintain energy better than you. And they have a lot more power than you. And when they get slow... They outturn you, so you have to be careful. I took this footage earlier from uh, one of the matches where we were on the last couple left, and I tell you what, look, I mean, he's he's right with me, and now I don't really have enough speed to, to kind of pull on him, so I've got to keep my nose down. My engine's already getting warm because this is that Italian map where you just it doesn't matter what you're flying, you're gonna overheat. So you see me laying off it as much as I can, and then if I can drop my nose a little bit, hit the afterburner, and grab that speed, I feel a little bit better. So that gave me enough energy to try and survive the next pass. But then again, here we overheat. So I'm trying to bait him into the turn a little bit, hopefully maybe that he'll maintain energy better and then overshoot me. But as you see, it just does not happen. So now I'm in a really bad situation where I'm going to try and force him to overshoot. And at this point, the only thing I got on him is roll rate. And thankfully, my buddy here, Turbo Nut, he comes in and gives me a hand, much, much needed, forces him off me. 
Still got an F100 to deal with, and I'm very slow, and my engine is overheating. Take a really ballsy head on that not much else I could do, right? But for now, we just stay straight and try and grab a little bit of speed, at the same time trying to let my engine cool off. Now, the higher you get, the better you can, uh, you can keep your engine cool, but when you're down on the deck, it just ain't gonna happen. But, like I say, we're just dragging it out. As you can see, here comes a missile, and I didn't even see it. Thankfully, I don't know how, but it missed me. And so now I gotta dodge an F100. Well, that's actually pretty easy. Got real close on that one. He's nice and slow, but I could not land the shot. Just a little bit off axis, so. Again, my engine's overheating, so I don't want to follow him vertical. I probably could, but I just can't. I can't afford it right now. So we're just going to keep our nose down, try and grab some speed. And this is what you're going to have to do in this aircraft. I don't care how much it gets buffed. It's never going to have the amazing acceleration like a MiG-19 does. This is the worst case scenario. And somehow I managed to get away from this one, but only because I have a, a teammate that can help me. Now I'll tell you what, those missiles, those missiles are really, really scary this patch. Managed to get a lucky spark off me. Try and pull the shot, couldn't get it. But this is going to be, you know, if you, if you can't land the guns, if you can't land the shots, you're going to have troubles with this plane. But it's so much fun. Now, I'll be honest, I'm not going to ever chase a KD in this plane. This is just straight for fun. If you're one of those people that, that want to that wanna pad your stats and want to get good, you know, 10 to 1 KDs or look amazing and brag about your stats, this isn't going to be the plane for you. Get the MiG-19. Maybe get the F-4 because well, once the F-4 gets fixed, I, I hope it'll be a pretty damn good plane. But as it sits right now, it's, it's a tough competition because on the deck, on the deck, I am faster than an F-4 right now. I haven't found one that can outrun me yet. I don't think that that's necessarily the way it should be. I thought the F4 was supposed to be faster than this. At least on the deck. Maybe it up at altitude this thing might be a little faster, but... I don't know. Anyways. We'll see. Things can still change. Like I say, the F4 has got some issues. But, like I say, the one nice thing about this plane too right now is, is as long as you're around, around a thousand kilometers an hour, then, uh, you know, maybe a little bit more than that. Then it actually maintains energy pretty well. You 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 know you can tap the elevator just a little bit, and you won't you won't bleed a lot of speed, which which is really really nice. That is beneficial. If you need to stay fast, you can in this plane. Either way, I'm gonna let the footage speak for itself because it's what oh, it's one o'clock in the morning here where I'm at right now. I've been up all night. <laughs> I I have to work in the morning. I'm sorry guys, but I'll leave the rest of this game, at least a couple kills I got here, and then I'm going to throw another uh, clip from another game that I actually lost because I couldn't land my shots, number one, and then number two, I started losing energy. So if you want to see, again, another worst case scenario in this aircraft, and, and it'll definitely expose its flaws, uh, stick around to the end, and that is what you'll see. So. If you have any questions, guys, again, throw it in the comments. I just, uh, I'll get more out for you guys, I promise. I just, I don't have a lot of time. And I'm really tired. Big thanks to uh, Rogue Beast for uh, allowing me to use his music in this video. This uh, song's called Action. If you haven't checked it out yet, link will be in the description. It's a pretty awesome song. I won't deny that I might have blasted it a couple times on the way to work. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you around. Like, subscribe, comment. Arrivederci.